and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you the best ipad tips and tricks to increase your productivity and enjoyment of the ipad let's get started to start with let's put our most frequently used apps into the dock you can just drag the icon and then place it into the dock and you want all the apps that you frequently use in here so that they're easily accessible and we're going to use them a little bit later on in this video the next trick i want to show you is how to rearrange your apps on the home screen and in order to do that you can tap and hold the icon to make it wiggle and then with that second finger you can add to the selection so you can select all the icons you want and and then you can drag them to a different screen and then you can let them go and that's how easy it is to move multiple icons at the same time that third tip i want to show you is using gestures it makes all the difference the first gesture is to drag up from the screen to see your notifications but then you can also drag from the middle of the screen and this will bring up your search bar so you can search any text any note apps anything you have on your ipad and then you can also drag down from the top right corner corner like this to bring up the control center and then dragging to the right will bring up the widgets here you can also drag up from the bottom and then swipe to the right to invoke that multitasking feature of the ipad if you drag further up and then let go you can see six apps here at the time and you can scroll between all the open apps you can bring up two apps side by side i really like having procreate and that photos app for example next to each other we can drag up from the bottom of the screen to bring up up the dock and this is why it was important to put your favorite apps into the dock because now what you can do is bring it up and then move it to the side here so you can have two apps side by side you can also make this a little bit smaller but then not just that you can also make this window floating by dragging down on it and now it's going to float over the top and you can move it around and then if you wanted to you could bring up another app as well maybe you like using pinterest so you can bring this to the side here as well and then rearrange it like this or you could even use multitasking in this floating window as well so now let's bring up Zinnia and place it over the top here so now this has replaced the previous app but then if you drag from that bottom here you can see now you've got the multitasking window again and then to get rid of this window you can just drag it to the side and then you can drag it to the side and then you have your original app back like this the number five tip i want to show you is called handoff and this is such a cool trick you can copy and paste text between your apple devices you will need to be logged into the same icloud account on all your devices and have bluetooth and wi-fi turned on go to general and then select airplay and handoff and make sure that this is turned on on all your devices and then the next trick I want to show you is called AirDrop. So if we have an image that we would like to transfer to any other Apple device, you select that share button and then AirDrop and then your device that you want to send it to and then the file will get transferred to the other device. Next up, I want to show you how you can customize your control center option. You can access control center from any app by swiping over the battery icon here. And so it's really handy to have your most used functions here go to settings and then go to control center and then you can select the controls that you would like to have available in your control center i really like having screen recording available so i'm going to show you next how that works so you can bring up control center and then you tap on screen recording so it's counting down to three and now it's going to start recording the screen and you can see here that it's recording the screen because there's this little icon here and then once you're finished with your recording you tap on it and you stop the the screen recording and now the screen recording video gets saved to your photos and then for number eight let's talk about my all-time favorite apple device which is the apple pencil you can use the apple pencil to take a screenshot by swiping up from the bottom left corner and then you can save this to your photos if you have that second gen apple pencil you can set up a double tap function go to settings and then select apple pencil and then select that function that you would like to invoke with your double tap. I'm going to show you how this works in notes. Double tap, which invokes the eraser tool. And then you can erase. 
double tap again and then you can write again but then you can also do this in other apps for example my favorite procreate app supports this as well and double tapping on the apple pencil will bring up that copy and paste menu you can decide which action you want to perform on double tap and in order to do that you go to your actions preferences and then gesture controls and you can see here copy and paste has got the apple pencil double tap turned on another cool you can do with the apple pencil Pencil is bring up that notes app without unlocking the iPad just tap on the screen and then start taking notes like this which brings me to number nine which is scribble you can turn this on and off in the Apple Pencil settings as well and it allows you to write into text boxes with your Apple Pencil and have it converted to text. As you've already seen this works really well in the Notes app just make sure that you have got your Scribble Pen activated and then if you don't want the Scribble function you choose any of the other pens and then you can take notes as you normally would. I also really like using this feature in my favorite journaling app which is Zinnia. Sometimes I'm a little bit lazy to write super slowly especially if I'm in a little bit of a rush so I can quickly take notes without having to worry about writing slowly and then my journal still looks really nice. All the tricks that I've shown you up until now work on all iPads that run iPad OS 14 or later but this trick is specific to the fourth generation iPad Air. You can actually set up Touch ID to work with any of your fingers so you place your finger like this and then you scan them and you just alternate all your fingers in a row so you can use any of your fingers to set up touch ID like this and then number 11 it's not really a trick but it's just something I wanted to show you because I like it so much you can actually customize your iPad and make it look super cute I've created another video where I'm showing you exactly how to do all of this but I just wanted to show you how nice it is to have all that similar icons and have nice widgets set up here and and as a little bonus, I want to show you an upcoming feature in iPad OS 14.3. And that is that you don't have to go through shortcuts anymore to launch their apps. So you can just tap on the shortcut icon and then it'll bring up the app instantly. And I'm so happy about this. Previously, you had to go through the shortcuts app and it was a bit of a jarring experience. But this is not happening anymore. You tap on the icon and then it'll bring up the app instantly. This is how it works starting with iPad OS 14.3. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my iPad tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.